Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quenchworth's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, a very warm akaba to you. Today, I'm sharing with you a jollof rice recipe, and this is made with beef. This is going to be filled with flavor, and I know you will enjoy it. I hope you share the video and all other videos so your friends and family can also get to enjoy these good meals. So let's take a look at our ingredients. I have my fresh basil for my garden, some bay leaves, some star anise, three of them actually, some seasoning cube, I'm using Maggi, and this over here is my multi-purpose seasoning, and I will attach a link if you don't have it. I have some tomato paste, some rice, and this is um, basmati rice. I have my fresh tomatoes, some red peppers, my mixed vegetables, I'm going to add vegetables in this jollof. Three large onions, some garlic, one habanero pepper because my kids are going to eat this, so I'm going light on the peppers. We we'll also need some cooking oil, and I'll also be using some rosemary and garlic seasoning from Tones. It is very good. When you find it in the store, do try it. For this recipe, I'm going to oven roast my onions, tomatoes, peppers, and basil, as well as garlic actually, in the oven. And that I will use to make the base stew for this jollof. I tell you, it's flavor packed. You will love this. So I've cut up my onions, and now I will transfer them into this oven proof dish. And I'll cut up my peppers, tomatoes, Add my garlic and basil, and I will bake this at a very high temperature, like 500 degrees Fahrenheit, for up to an hour. You will find out that the red peppers, the red uh, bell peppers, give your sauce some, you know, a little bit of sweetness and it enriches your color that you don't even need too much tomato paste. So as you could see from when I showed you my ingredients, I have very little tomato paste. I think it's just 100 grams. Just 100 grams of tomato paste is what I'm going to use to make this, but my jollof is going to be on point when it comes to color. It's gonna be rich, bright, just like you would expect it to be. So I've added my garlic and we love garlic, so that's almost like a whole, Bob of garlic, head of garlic, whatever you choose to call it. And I'm adding my rosemary, which is so wild in my garden now. So I just throw it into anything, everything in large quantities because it has to be used. <laughs> and I'm going to, at this point, drizzle some oil on my vegetables, toss them together and my oven is already preheated and I'm going to let it roast in the oven. And this, of course, mm, it ensures great flavor. And when you're done with your sauce, you would want to have pasta with it. You could make some lasagna, you could make some big CD, any, you know, like your typical, it's like marinara sauce, actually, it is good. And how beautiful does it get? Look at that. And into the oven it goes now. And now we focus on seasoning our meat. So I added my three star anise, and that is my tone seasonings. It's rosemary, garlic, my multi purpose mix, seasoning mix, which is also a good marinade. And I have the recipe here on the channel, so do check it out. I added my tablet, my Maggie tablet, salt. And just stir and I'm not going to add any water I'm just going to let the flavors you know work on the meat and just look the meat already pulled out some of the its own juices it's cooking in its own juices at this point and I let it cook for about 20 minutes on low heat and now I think I'll add some water to it it's almost like frying in its own oils you see that beautiful 
added some water and I'm going to cover and let it cook for an extra 15 minutes. I added the water just because I want to have some stock to cook my jollof with, which is going to bring all the flavors, you know. And now I have my pot that I'm going to cook my jollof in on the stove. I poured in my oil and whilst it heats, my meat is cooked. The extra 15 minutes is up, so I am bringing it out of the juices strain it so you know you have less moisture almost no moisture on it for you to fry and look at this goodness so my oil is hot now and i poured in my uh, meat and i'm going to just fry it until golden brown i'm not going to let it be too hard so you fry it according to how you want it you could actually just not even fry it and transfer this into your stew and make your jollof, the choice is all yours. At this point, I think my meat is all done now. It's well fried. And so I'm going to bring it out of the oil. And of course, because we are not going to want to lose our flavors, I'm going to cook my stew right here in this oil, which has all the flavors from the fried meat. And so I added my extra onion that I have sliced up in the oil. And I'm going to try to let it get a little bit caramelized. And whilst it cooks, look at my veggies. Well roasted, beautiful, out of the oven. It stayed in there for a total of one hour at 100, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to blend this so I can add it to my sauce. So actually I'm making this recipe video for my colleagues at work. Kristen, this is for you. I know you don't want to eat good. So this is beef, one of your, the four meat kinds of meat you ever want to eat. And I hope you try this. She is doing awesome. My colleague Shannon, um, Letty, they're trying my recipes. So I want to say a shout out to all my friends at work. I hope you love this. Enjoy something good from Ghana, Africa, actually. This is big in Africa. We love jollof fries. So our onion is now caramelized. And I have also blended my tomatoes. I know it's crazy how I do this, but on a typical day, you know, in the kitchen, that is how you do stuff. So bear with me as I hop from here to there. And I've added my bay leaves, three of them. I added it now and I have also added in right now my tomato paste. And that is just 100 grams, I tell you. The bell peppers and the tomatoes will give your stew the richness of color and you don't need too much tomato paste if you do what I just did. And now I poured in my blended roasted veggies, which is already so hot that as soon as it hit the pot, you saw like everything is bubbling, falling. So be careful you don't burn yourself or scald your skin, your beautiful skin, okay? And so I covered it just so... I don't end up hurting myself and the mess it makes in the kitchen you know you don't want to have it so my tomato stew is cooking and because i roasted the vegetables they were pretty much cooked my stew came out already thick it's like i'm cooking with tomato sauce or some marinara and this will make some good pasta sauce all you need is to maybe add some meatballs or minced beef and you would have good 
sauce for your pasta so i'm just going to let this cook for a total of 30 minutes on medium heat and then we'll proceed to add our rice and cook our jollof and occasionally i would uncover and stir and at 30 minutes i added my stock from the meat give it a stir it smells amazing it tastes so good so good it is a little bit sweet because the bell peppers have some sweetness and if you added a little bit of um cheese like parmesan cheese you're good to go to have your good pasta and so my stew is a lot and i scoop some on the side because i plan to make extra jello for another time with it or i could make pasta with it so i will save that in the freezer until i need to use it again and the rest of it i have washed my rice and that is a total of five cups of rice And I'm going to stir and add some water. So I added some salt. And because my stew is a bit more on the runny side, it wasn't thick like my other jollof rice recipe that you saw. And so I'm going to add a total of four cups of warm water to this and you could add some more water if you want your rice to be more soft but I think this will work perfect for me so as you can see the water just comes a little bit above the rice and I'm going to cover and let this cook I know a lot of you have fallen in love with this cast iron pot I got it from Amazon and I am going to attach a link so you can check it out and hopefully get one for yourself it's amazing it's amazing i got it to cook quang quang in it so i have all my recipe ingredients ready and i will make that quang quang so anyway i uncovered my rice is partially cooked and so i added my meat now my beef and i am also going to add in my frozen vegetables as you can see as usual i've packed my pot so i'm trying to make sure that you know it, the meat is evenly distributed in there <laughs> to cook well and i'll add in my vegetables now and it's frozen so remember the frozen vegetables is going to also you know thaw whilst it cooks and it's going to have a little bit of moisture or liquid in it so that alone is enough to cook my rice which is like pretty much halfway cooked and so with that, it's going to yield great, great results. Not too soft and not too hard. So I'll manage to stir everything until my vegetables are, you know, really well mixed with my rice. Cover. And after another 15 minutes, then I should be ready. And just look at that. Beautifully cooked not too soft my kids can enjoy it and i can enjoy it too like you know it's like you come to a compromise when you have kids so this is in between and look at that color isn't that amazing a lot of you normally ask me on instagram how i get to have such great color in my jollof and well this is one more recipe that you can use to you know yield beautiful beautiful looking jollof rice golden rich you know the color is popping it's definitely popping and the taste amazing it's not just looking good it is tasting good it is smelling good it is pretty much crowd pleasing you will love this so i really hope you give this a try and when you do kindly leave a comment so i know how it went for you and do share the video Thanks for all you're doing, for loving my channel, and for the great amount of support you are giving me over here. I am truly thankful to all of you. I will top this off with a little sprinkle of cilantro, just because I love this.
but this recipe is done and you can have it just like it is or add in extra herbs and vegetables that you prefer and i really hope you do give this a try so until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy